right? So you've just kind of puzzled about a bunch of different things, and, and, and you have to discover that it's not in the middle, because the angles wouldn't be the same if it was in the middle. And we already know that this point isn't on A or B. Okay. Because then they wouldn't be the same either. That might be useful to know. But it's tough. How are we going to make progress here? There's so much we don't know. Yeah, there's so much we don't know. Hmm. We really hasn't, haven't used this length of 6 much. No, that's true. We have not. Hmm. As we'll, we'll need to find one of these angles in here to find out yeah. what that. Uh, We've got to find some angles. So what yeah. that there's a technique that that kind of suggests. Angle chasing. Angle chasing. So why don't you call one of those angles something? I'll call this one. Well, I've already used x. Sorry, we don't really need x. Yeah, we don't need that right now. So I'll call this x. All right, x x. This is one eighty minus two x. Okay. And then this is. 90 minus 180 minus 2x. Okay. Which makes that what? So, 2x minus 90. 2x minus 90, okay. And then this is 90 minus 2x minus 90, which is just going to be 180 minus 2x. Interesting. So, that's interesting. Yeah, that's interesting. Right behind you. So when it, this is so we just noticed that these angles are the same. Okay. And then this is one eighty minus. 180 minus 2x plus x. So. Which is a very complicated way of writing. The 180s are going to go away. And then the minus. Plus 2x minus x. This is x. Ah! Hmm. Hmm. Why don't you erase that? Okay. I, I remember now that. We prove the angles in a triangle add up to 180 by drawing a random triangle and drawing a line that was parallel to the base. Aha! Uh -huh. So you have that angle, that angle. All right, good. So this kind of reminds you of a proof. All right. 90 minus x. Okay, sweet. Well, now we've labeled all the angles in terms of x. Yeah, now we've chased the angles as much as we can go. I wonder if that helps us see anything here. We did discover some angles that were similar, or congruent, these congruent angles. Mm hmm. Hmm. Well, we can't really do, we can't really sum up the angles here in this triangle or this triangle because the x's are going to cancel out. Yeah, that's. You've, you've labeled the, it, one thing that's cool is you've labeled all the angles in terms of x. So that's good. It, sometimes that just solves the problem automatically. It didn't, didn't happen here. So but that's not surprising. I mean, this is one of the harder problems on the test. So there's got to yeah. be, maybe there's one other thing we've got to notice here. Well, maybe it has to do with the sides. Okay. But we don't know where m is on the line. Right. That'd be nice if we could figure that out. And since we don't know where M is, that means we don't know where, what these are. Nope. Hmm, so I don't think it's going to be the sides. Maybe we could label the sides. We could label the sides again. But I think that's just going to result in what happened here. Okay. So what else can we notice about this? That's what you got to be asking. What else is there to see on this picture? Hmm. 
Well, what haven't we used yet? Okay, not a bad question. We're just going to check the time, but keep asking, keep thinking, what haven't we used yet? Hmm. It's not telling me the time, I'll just start and restart. Start and stop and restart? Yeah. 